I'm glad we didn't do the whole show. Me too. Holy oh, crap. It's the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show with Billy the Kid and... I mean, I don't care. Cubicle Show. Oh, let's start. Oh, this is our second time. We're the second time today. It's, it's the, the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. show. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's the, the Bill and Scott, Scott Cubicle, Cubicle Show. show. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I got to run down this for you. So we just started the show and we were doing the show for like five, <laughs> five minutes, minutes. And we realized <laughs> that we weren't live. So then we go back and we started off and then I didn't hit any like buttons to, to silence ourselves and whatever. So we here. We're, we're out of control. Yo. Uh, I'm Scott. I'm Bill. And this is the, the Bill, Bill and Scott Cubicle, Cubicle show. show. And that's actually something we forgot to do in is, our first is it, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, we were like, you were taking medicine. I was sitting down in my chair. The screen was pointed down. We were like, oh, we got off to a bad start. <laughs> we got off to an even worse start yeah. than we realized. I lost my shoe and everything in <laughs> the first I, intro. Like, <laughs> If I hadn't looked at my phone to try and see if we had anybody commenting and then realized we got no notification about going live, we would have done this entire show oh, and then been like, oh, God. shoot, we didn't do a show today. What a time, people. Anyways, I'll run through this again. Is Kendall Jenner hooking up with too many people? Is it possible to hook up with too many people? Star Wars. Someone from the Star Wars movie just went and deleted all their posts on the gram. The Kids See Ghost album cover revealed last night. Tyrese of being sued. His 2017 problems are 2018 problems, too. Whoa. And Selena Gomez... Does she have a Justin Bieber lookalike in her new music video? Does she have a Justin Bieber complex on her brain or in her heart? These are the questions we're going to answer today, and we're going to keep you woke. Wow. We're going to take away that baby blanket you've been tucked in with, because yeah. this is not the time for sleeping. Right. We're going to put a no-fly zone in, that way your helicopter parents oh! can't helicopter around you oh! anymore. Mm. We're going to kick you out of the house if you're 30 years old. You're going to get these bars. bars. <laughs> All right, let's start off with, uh, since I just played a Kanye thing and a... Yeah, do it. scoop dee doop scoop dee dee whoop We'll do a poop real quick, and then poop. just because we're about to do Kanye, poop. have to hit him with a... Half sway. All right, so uh, Kanye, Cuddy, they got their album coming out this week. Also, Kanye's album, Ye, is projected number one. Uh, I thought I, I read somewhere, there's two reports. There's one report that says it's going to move like 150,000. Then there's another report that's saying like 750,000. I would think it's probably going to be more closer to, to over 500,000 yeah. uh, because it's already over 100 million <clears throat> streams. So that's already like... That's, oh, you were thinking it's going to be closer to 750 than it is to 150? I think it'd be more closer to that in a sense. It'll be around like 500. 750 is big. I don't know if it's going to hit those numbers, but yeah, 500 seems. That's what I think it'll be around. He's already had a 100 million streams <coughs> in three days. Yeah. Anyways, um, so Kids See Goes to Cuddy, Kanye album that comes out this Friday. The put out the album cover last night. Here it is. Um, now, I'm not sure how to uh, pronounce this dude's name um, that makes the album cover that does the artwork but this is the same guy that actually designed kanye's graduation cover so if you remember that one was like the bear and the space like being shot up in the space and everything same guy kids see ghost what do you think we're gonna get from this album is that the ghost of the bear Ooh. well there's is that like somebody like, is that the hopes ghost. and dreams of education because higher education is a scam and all they're doing is sucking people dry for money yep. for degrees that don't even really get them good jobs anymore Facts. That's a stay woke moment right there, and we didn't I even plan that. So that's the album cover that's coming out Friday. I'm excited for it. I, I, I'm a huge Cuddy fan, big Kanye fan. I'm all about it. Well, the lighting in here is awful today. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm gonna turn on that light because I don't like how orange I look. How orange you look? Yeah, and I'm, I'm like doing it reddish. Hey, wow, extra bright. Did that have we just come into a major light we come up? We just came into a come up here. I still look orange. It's a shadow on my face from my hat. I can't take my hat off because then I look like a dummy. It's just the it's just the lights in this. Yeah, room, these lights. You know what? Here, watch this. Wow, right. what are you doing now? I'm gonna experiment Yo. a little bit. All right, so Which only library lights. Star Wars. What's this character's Star name? Star Wars. Wars. Yeah. That's no, that's worse. It is. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the initial. All right, so I'll say it from over here, and I'm gonna project with my voice so that it can be heard on the MacBook's microphone. This young lady, Kelly Marie Tran, she played, I don't even remember what her character's name was. She was, excuse me, 
She like helped out the. Uh, she helped like, out Finn. Yeah. She went to the casino planet with Finn. Um, the Asian girl. She was the first, you know, female person of color to ever have a lead in a Star Wars movie. Make you know, big deal about it. So she deleted all of her um, Instagram posts. Not her account. Her account's still up, but she wiped out all of her posts, allegedly due to um, racial and sexual harassment from Star Wars fans no. for the last, you know, uh, what has that been? Six months? Almost six months since the movie came out. Um, now, here's the thing. Um, I didn't even remember she was in the movie. I started reading this story, and I was like, oh, yeah. That that girl, that character. Because her character was, like, completely useless. She didn't do anything worthwhile in the movie. Uh, she could have been written out. And it wouldn't have really impacted the story other than one dumb scene at the end, which was sort of her fault anyway. Um, and that, now, this is not to say that this is this girl's fault, this actress, Kelly Marie Trent. That's not her fault. It's not her fault for who she is or what she looks like. That's the writer's fault for writing a terrible character in a trash movie. So, I think it's unreasonable for the fans to come down on her for that. Yeah. She was just doing her job. You know, if you want to come down on anybody come down on the writers and it seems like that may be what's happening because nobody's going to see solo this it's set to be the first star wars movie that's actually going to lose money wow. apparently um i think it's projected to make about 500 million in the u.s box office i don't know i heard that when the budget Disney was like fails i love it for some reason well yeah because you know they have so many like surefire hits and they never miss but um it looks like they're missing with this one which is sort of sad because solo is actually really good and then i feel like too um, much at once. I was saying this uh, when it first came out. They're rolling out too many Star. When you're a huge Star Wars fan, and I'm just used to getting a couple Star Wars movies, like you get a couple Star Wars movies over a course of like five years, then you don't get any yeah. for like ten years plus. Like, like I wasn't old enough to get the first three, but I was old enough for the the, the, the prequels, the prequels, and then this <coughs> new batch that came out. And I wish they just kept it at the new batch that came out. They, they just did episodes. Um, uh, Seven and eight. Yeah, thank you. And then, you know, eventually did nine and then disappeared. But all this other stuff is just too much. Like, I'm, I like Star Wars a lot. I haven't gone and seen Solo yet. Well, my brother was saying he's a huge, like, he's a Star Wars fanboy and has been since the dawn of time. But he was saying that there's a lot of people who hated The Last Jedi because, truly, it was an abomination. It was, like, the worst thing that has ever happened in Star Wars. And that they are <clears throat> now not going to see so Solo because they got suckered into seeing The Last Jedi based on like brand recognition because it's a Star Wars movie and it was so bad. They're like, I well, actually no, I'm like not, The Last Jedi. I'm not going in. I'm not going to see that just because it's a Star Wars movie. Also, I think a mistake that they made was releasing it in May. You know, release them if you're going to release them at Christmas time and do one a year. Okay, that's fine. See that I could accept that, but you it's like too much. The Force Awakens in 2015, Christmas time. Rogue One, Christmas time, 2016. The Last Jedi, Christmas time, 2017. Why'd you put out Solo now? Like especially right around the time when you've got Infinity War, you got mm -hmm. Deadpool two, you got all these is, big movies coming out now, and you decide to release Star Wars. And this is also going to start to happen with all these Marvel superhero movies too. One of one of the big ones is going to lose money this year. Watch. You think so? Yeah. You think it's? I don't. I don't. It's I don't think too so. Because the only one left is Ant Man, and I think that'll do pretty well. Nobody cares about Ant Man. You, you say that, but I mean, yeah, because it's easy movie... to do good for Ant Man when nobody cares. So like when you got an expectation of fifty million, like if it does a hundred million, it's more than good. It's not like a top one. Yo, what up to the suspension god, Stan Lee, yo? <laughs> are you like, you got, you're on He's the... Uh, yeah, I, I was thinking about that yesterday, how we haven't heard from him. Yeah. But Are you on the burner account right now? <laughs> like, <laughs> Genevieve yeah. said it's my fault that people didn't see Solo because I, I said I wasn't excited and I didn't do a review on Thursday. Which is funny because I made a joke about how I was like, and eh, nobody's counting on my review because I figured people were going to see it anyway. Yeah. But it's not my fault that people haven't seen it since I said that it was really good. So that's on you. Ooh, it's really good. Ooh, barred Go him up. It. Eight out of ten. Tyrese, he's being sued right now by Amex for $61,000 for failing to pay up on his uh, bills. Um, he owes them a whole bunch of money. You know, he has, like, the monthly expenses we brought broke down, like, last year. It's, like, over $100,000 a month and everything. That was, like, a year ago, and wasn't everything. it? That all that was happening when he was, like, yo, I, we need this movie for... Uh, it was probably, like, six it's, or eight months ago. Yeah, but it was, yeah, a, it was a while ago. ago. Um, So it's still continuing on, and now these companies that own money are starting to sue him for money. But that I always find that funny. Like, you're suing somebody for money when they owe you money. 
Yeah. Like, Where are they going to come up with what that? What are you going to get? This is when you start to take their liquidation. Like, give me your house or give me your Benihana's in your backyard or, like, <laughs> you know, the Chuck E. Cheese in your backyard, whatever that is. Like, I think it's time. If he's really that in debt and he owes this much money to people, it's time to just start taking his property, whatever the liquid value is. Take the cars, take that. Because he even came out and he doubled down on it. If The Rock's in the next Fast and the Furious movie, you won't get me. Nobody cares if you're in the Fast and Furious movie, Tyrese. Not at all. Who's your character? I don't even know who your character is. Well, it's Roman Pierce. Who's See, that? I actually care. I like Tyrese. I think he's funny. But at the same no. time, if you need the money that badly, you can't be threatening to leave. See, you take the job. See, it's like you can't say The Last Jedi was bad and then say Tyrese's character is good. Hello, Stephanie. Thanks for checking in. Uh, sure I can. Tyrese's character is good and The Last Jedi was bad. I just did it. Hi, Hi Steph. Uh, also, you're wrong, though. Shrek. You need to learn how wrong you are. No, that's not <laughs> at all. Like, that that's an invalid argument. That's just oh, a, man. a total reach. I want to be in on that joke so bad, but I just I can't know. connect it. It's a, it's a total reach. I um, understand. Some people just don't have the eyes to see it. Oh, damn. Well, you know what? It's Open your read. heart, Scott. Lead with love. I hate you. <laughs> How's because that you know for what love? They say, Shrek, How's that for Shrek love? Shrek is love. Yo. Shrek is life. Shrek does bring life. And then when you leave... Wait, hang on. When you... It's really hard to do... There we go. I got it. In the mirror image. When you leave with love, and then it becomes a beautiful... Bird. Flapping bird. A little dove. Like your Napoleon Dynamite. Isn't a dove a symbol of, like, love? Like the yeah, bird? like peace. Yeah, so yep. your heart will a little blossom piece, into a, a dove bird. A little piece bird. of my heart. Um, yeah, so what do we got here? We also got Kendall Jenner. Is she hooking oh, up with too many Speaking of love, oh my goodness. She was my recent. one true love, Kendall Jenner... She was recently spotted with Ben Simmons of the NBA the other day, uh, doing their little bike trip and their little smoochy smoochy. Well, last night she was caught with uh, Bella and Gigi Hadid's younger brother, Anwar. <laughs> whatever what? kind of name yeah. that is, Anwar. Um, and it sounds like something from God of War. They but were Anwar. Uh, yeah, he does was sucking sucking face. face. That's Kendall exactly Jenner. what I was gonna say. They were sucking face for two hours, making wow. out, cuddling right out in the open. Apparently, she doesn't do this very often. This is like a new thing for Kendall Jenner. It makes me think maybe she's trying to make this guy jealous, right? Ben Simmons? Honestly, yeah. Honestly, let's. I'm not going to judge anybody by their appearance, but actually I'm going to do that. This you this mean, Hadid that kid looks like a friggin' dweeb. Like, I don't see why Kendall Jenner would hook up with this dude. Um, when, she posted a picture like three years ago when he was 17 and she was 20. Oh, it was and like And it dibs. was like dibs yeah, and everything. So she's true. been like... Uh, She's been She's eyeing been the baby him. carriage for a while. She's been stalking around on the cougar paws. Now, is that bad? Is a 17 and a 20-year-old bad? No, that's fine. But, I mean, like, look, if you're going to go coast to coast like that, if you're going to go L.A. to New York, we, you got a couple of eligible bachelors... Right here. Right here. Now, granted, I think Kendall Jenner's like 5'10 or 5'11, so she's probably too tall for me. But um, but still, you know, at the same time, it kind of breaks my heart a little bit. Because well, I you know like, what they say. Everybody's the same size in bed. Ooh, true. When you're, when you're all horizontal-like. But when you got her going, like I said, from guy to guy. I was guy, told that before because there was this chick like eight, nine years ago that's like six foot three, and she like really really like me and i was like Whoa. i was like yo i can't she's like eight inches taller than me like she's that's, like that's I'm a like, bit of a disparity I'm like, I'm like five seven and she's like six three and, and i was like and then the person was like hey, you're same size of bed i was like yo you gotta do this man let me go off on this for just a second a little tangent here you gotta do what you're comfortable with right right you're not nobody should make you feel bad because you're not attracted to somebody like if Facts. you're not comfortable with dating somebody that's x amount taller or shorter than you that's fine i'm reasonably short and i don't get upset if tall girls aren't into me whatever i'm not really into tall girls i like short chicks but like you know, like at the end of the day, like definitely personality, all that has a long sure. Like, that is a huge big thing to do with the relationship because personality and getting along with somebody is what's going to keep you there and not keep you there. In my personal opinion, at the end of the yeah, day, yes. Um, but, but there you has still to be, need to be you have to be attracted. There has to be a the base person. level attraction, yeah. and and I don't like when people make you feel, make you feel bad. It's like, oh, well, you only like a certain type. Yeah, true. I'm not going to deny that. There's a certain type of girls that I'm attracted to. And there's a certain, there's somebody out there who's attracted to every type. Like there's something, you know, somebody for everybody. So just because you haven't found somebody who's attracted to you doesn't mean there's nobody out there. Thank That's you, what ben. I'm saying. I needed See, somebody I to tell me these words I think we both needed that. We need Thank to just you pat each other on the back. Right there's somebody out there. Yeah, maybe it's not Kendall Jenner, but that's fine because I don't want some girl who's going to be going coast to coast, back to back, guy to guy. 
I said this earlier on my live stream. She blew her chance with me. That's it. It's done. That's sorry. Toss it. Sorry, yeah, Kendall. So Stephanie says she's five Explore four and she right definitely now. likes taller guys. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You do you. Yeah. You, you know, like I said, I'm all the same size in bed. <laughs> <laughs> no disrespect. <laughs> Look, if you said if you said that you only like pretty boys, like remember this whole Stephanie's cousin thing, she only likes pretty boys. I know pretty boy. Look at this. I am shaving like a week and a half. I ain't out there working on my abs. Actually, I am, but I'm not working that hard on them. I eat fast food every day. That's the whole reason I go to the gym. It's to justify being able to eat fast food. People will be like, yo, you, eat, you go to McDonald's every time you go to the gym. What's the point? That's the point. So I can eat McDonald's without becoming a blimp. I like McDonald's, and I don't like cooking. Sorry. All right, I just got That was totally armingly positive. Good job, dudes. From hey, yo. yo, what up? Thank you, Jesse. Positivity. Hey, the power of positivity. Lead Shout out my guys, the New love. Day. The P.O.P. You ain't booty. Yeah. By the way, I, I should wear that shirt tomorrow. I've been wearing too many nice shirts for the past few days in a row. I Listen, new season, new me. That's why I've been putting on, like, nicer shirts, and I've been putting gel in my hair. Let me tell you the gel story real quick. Please do. Right? So we had a wedding. Our buddy Jake got married a couple, like, five weeks ago now. About five weeks this About week. About a month. Yeah. So, right? So, that was a month ago yesterday. And uh, so I went, and I was like, oh, I had to get some uh, gel to put on my hair. He's his best man. I want to look good for the wedding. You know, all that stuff. So I got this big tub that was like $3, but then they had these little things like that for like $2. I was like, yo, bro, I don't need those. Let me get the big tub. So I had all this gel sitting around, so I decided I'll start to use the gel. There's the story for you. Hope you enjoyed it. That was it. a good story. Selena, Sharon. Selena Gomez. <laughs> more, more relationship. Yes. More love. Okay. So Selena Gomez got this new song. You want to take lead on this? Yeah, because I, I really I always, don't know. Yeah, I always do, but then I feel kind of bad. I'm like, you know, should we toss it over to Scott? But you, you know, what? there's the times where I take the lead. That's true. It just matters, and we just it just flows. Anyway, back to you is the new song. Um, she so got the video out, and people are like, "Whoa, this song is probably about Justin Bieber." You don't say. Because freaking every song that Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber come out with. There, it's like, oh, well, this song's probably about the other one, because it probably is. You're talking about getting back with an ex when you have an on-again, off-again relationship? Yeah, I'd be willing to bet that that may be about Justin Bieber. But that's not all. We got screenshot from the music video to show you this imposter. Scott was like, check out the screenshot. He was like, can you send me a screenshot? So I did. Roll the tape. Show the image. There it is. Look at that screenshot. <laughs> I'm so proud of this. What I wanted to happen, okay, a little behind the scenes footage here. I wanted Scott to just upload this because what he was asking for was a screenshot of the guy who kind of looks like Justin Bieber. I was like, I'm just going to send him this screenshot of Selena Gomez making a goofy face. I was like, don't look at it, Scott. Just load it in. Just let. But he had to look at it while he loaded yeah, it. I so I got busted. And so then I had to get another screenshot, and you can hit him with that one. All right, so this is the dude. This is the guy. I mean, you Sorry can... to, to, to spoil your plan. Yeah, yeah. I know. It, yeah, it's it was, a spoiler it wasn't well thought out. Well, uh, foil, but spoil works too. You, oh, I've been foiled, but you also spoiled my hopes and dreams. Now let's take, so back away from the screen a little bit, maybe squint your eyes. That's Justin Bieber. He's obviously not uh, a dead ringer, not a super look-alike, but he looks similar enough to Justin Bieber. Yeah, if you consider having blonde hair and being a white guy looking similar. Yeah, well, I mean, that Justin Bieber's blonde hair white guy. I guess it looks the same, then. It looks relatively... It, I mean, this is a it's total reach. It's, it's not. close. And, uh, it's the not. song is about Justin Bieber. It's not. It's about The weekend. N no. No. No, she was playing The weekend. She, The weekend was a hard no. rebound off of Justin Bieber. Look, and this is what I want to get into here because Selena Gomez, what, how do we get onto this earlier? We're going to talk about how like Selena Gomez has all the power. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh wait. You're like, do you think, because the screenshot says happy. Wait, show this first screenshot again. Oh, I'm sorry. One second. Yeah, so there's a subtitle, because there's subtitles to this whole video. It says, happy. And you're like, you think Selena Gomez is happy? I was like, yeah, I bet you she is. Justin Bieber's not, because he was, you know, she could have him back anytime she wants, because she's the one who called it off, and he was always the one trying to get back with her. She has all the power in the relationship, because she doesn't care as much. So, yeah, I think she's probably pretty happy, because isn't that how it always goes? Mm, a lot of times. Well, I mean, it depends on who the person is. Also, uh, Stephanie says she goes for more for personality, not looks. Personality's huge, definitely. Guess what? I, I'm professional personality. personality. Oh, <laughs> Get it? That's, that's a, my job. That's a bad joke. Wow, how am I not married already? Yeah, that is a bad joke. Uh, the oh, weekend like was a ah. rebound. Yeah, he was. Definitely was a rebound. There it was, was a, a relatively long rebound. They were together for like nine or ten months. 
Well, maybe almost a year. Well, but... I guess I guess like I think uh, it's clear that Selena Gomez has all the power. Um, but do you think that if somebody's in a long relationship and then that next person they go out with is that person always going to be a rebound, or is there a or can you date somebody that just got out of a long term relationship without being the rebound? It's possible, but it's unlikely. I'd say you're looking at like. 5% odds that you can get into a relationship with somebody and have it not be a rebound. I feel like there has to be like a one person buffer at least. So if you if you're interested in dating someone who just got out of a relationship, set them up with your friend first, throw your friend under the bus and then and then uh and then you can hop in once they've like figured themselves out or whatever it is that they need to do. You done to get your uh, heart broken? Yeah, I was actually me? gonna say if you want to toss me under the bus, I'll take one for the team. Okay, in this said, new expedition that you're on, I may need you because I know what's going on. I was gonna volunteer, but I didn't want to blow up your spot or anything like that. But yeah, I'll, I'll you know. Okay, like so. There's this girl that I'm trying to that I'm pursuing. Yeah, Stephanie says unlikely. I think and, unlikely. Uh, it's not a rebound. Yeah, and uh, yeah. So I may need Bill to be my uh my buffer. Then. Yeah, that's you know. I'll, I will always be a wingman, and if that's what you got to do as a wingman, I'm down. Damn, that's respect right there. When you get the double, <laughs> bard. Okay, um, so that's, wow. That we just covered everything except the Seagulls thing. The stay woke moment. Yeah, the stay woke moment. The wokeness moment. We, of it all. You guys can be my rebound. Hey. <clears throat> hey. Both of us at the same wow. time. The devil's three-way? I don't know. Damn. I, I don't know if the I'm devil's down with that. The devil's three-way? That's, that's dangerous. That's pointy. Devil's three-way? You never heard about heard of that? No. <laughs> the, <laughs> devil's, the devil's three-way is a threesome with two dudes. <clears throat> like, it's rather one dude and two chicks. It's two dudes and one chick. That's hilarious. <laughs> The devil's this is, this is stuff we wouldn't be able to say out on the floor without Allie going, Bell! Yeah, right. That's like the devil's like the lettuce day, when you talk about marijuana. The other day when I was saying, I was talking about people being hoes, and Allie was yelling at me, like, you can't say that. And I was like, I can if they're hoes. Uh, uh, Genevieve says, I don't think the person uh. has to be, the next person has to be a rebound. I dated someone for eight years, then dated someone for like five. Um, but then, yeah, you know, I think it really kind of depends on how, also how quick after the relationship is. True. Like if it's like five six months, I could say I would say that you're you're possibly not going to be a rebound. And also the thing about being okay with yourself, that's also true. I feel like girls have a like a harder time figuring that out than guys do. I don't know. I I from my perspective, I've always known who I am and been okay with myself. But it's not to say that I've never had rebound relationships where I've just been like where I got into something too quickly and was like ah shoot, I don't actually like this person that much. Just don't want to be alone. Yeah, I'll so. tell you. I'll tell you one of Bill's biggest problems. Whew. He loves too hard. Oh, that's true. I go all in, like zero to one hundred. Like real he quick. sits down at the poker table and like before he even <laughs> plays a card, he's like I all in. I don't even look. I just go all in right away. How many times has that worked out for me? This many. All right, so we're running out of battery life. Um, so let's hit the Eagles. Yeah, fly Eagles, fly. Okay, so as you may have heard, the Eagles were. Uh, Uninvited from the White House for their celebration after winning the Super Bowl. Um, Trump says it was because of them kneeling during the national, or because of them disrespecting the flag, but like it's generally accepted that most of them weren't going to show up anyway, so he's just trying to save face. Yeah. Now, yesterday, this is the real story, Fox News was uh, running these pictures showing the Eagles kneeling during the national anthem, except, as the Eagles players quickly pointed out, that wasn't what was happening at all. None of the Eagles players ever once throughout the year kneeled. During the national anthem, we one got Sean guy McMaster, did, yeah. who's a big fan. Yeah, I was gonna say. One guy did during preseason, but he was injured. So that's pre, then preseason. That's not doesn't regular. Yeah, season doesn't count. Either. One guy like raised his fist, is what Sean was saying. Um, he's like a lifelong diehard Eagles fan, so he was up on that. Um, what they were doing was kneeling for prayer before the game, and Fox News is just running with this, saying, "Oh yeah, they were kneeling during the you know fact checking. What's that?" Now no. people are bashing Fox News, and they should be, but this is not a Fox News problem. This is a news problem, and this is the stay woke moment of it all. I told this story earlier during the Daily Dish, and I'm going to tell it again now. News organizations just take whatever they have and they go with it. As long as they think nobody's going to find out that they're lying, they'll just do it. Because uh, a couple of years ago, there was a kid with a gun who had a hostage in my neighborhood, right down the street from my house. Uh, so the police set up a, like a barricade. They blocked off the street. So the TV news, you know, it's a big deal. It's like a live local breaking story. TV news people couldn't get down the street to where the actual house was. So they just set up shop right outside of my house. And they're filming my house being like, there is a, there's a shooter, a gunman in this house. And I was like, no gunman in that house. 
That's my house. But nobody knows that because they're not me. They have no frame of reference to say that's not true, yeah. except for the people who live in that house. So I was like, look, now we know you can't trust the things that you hear on the news. It's things that people say or do or post because they're just – all they're trying to do is get it up as quickly as possible. They're trying to get as many views or as many clicks or as – uh, as good of ratings as they possibly can. It's not about accuracy. It's not about freaking um, eth ethics or... It's disingenuous. No yeah, morals. Yeah, it's not It's not genuine. It's just clickbait. And there it is. No, that's pretty good. And that's, that, that's not actually a tinfoil hat thing. Like, that's actually true. Yeah. The only people in the media that you can trust... Because we give it to you straight. That's right. You want to know why? Because I am not controlled by D-Man. And that's why we had to come into the studio, so we could give it to you straight. Yeah, we'll give it to you straight. So we could give it to you sh straight up to... Scoop dee dee whoop. Um, so, Stan Lee says, uh, Dutch Rudder. Yo, I'm gonna... I'll Google that when I get home. I'm yeah, not I don't Google actually that know what that home. is, but I don't think it's something to look yeah. up at work. I, because you're gonna give me having HR come over to my desk later on. Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> Never just don't be a sheep. No, don't. Listen, if you're going to trust the media... Only trust the good guys. Yeah. I don't even think... I was going Us? Off, I was rambling about how I don't consider myself part of the media. And Brian Williams. Oh, true. He never lies. No, he never told a lie. He's never been gone a lie. Actually, I don't <sighs> consider myself part of the media either because I don't like report stuff. Yeah, we're not journalists. We're yeah, personalities. Yeah. I don't, we, I, enter, we entertain. I have a degree in journalism and all that, but... uh. I'm not a journalist. Okay. With that being said, we'll be back at it tomorrow. You can catch the Cubicle Show Monday through Thursday on the Jams Facebook page at 1030 Eastern Time. Because that's the only time zone that matters. One. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show! That's what I'm talking about, boy! Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah? Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah! Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Not a rectangle show. Not a triangle show. Not a pyramid show. It's a cubicle show. Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah? Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we just got one boy.